Another low here in Hawaii when he flipped the boat in qualifying. He's okay. For a long time, what happened? I wanted to get first qualifier, and you know, you got to hang it out sometimes to do it, and just went a little too far and carried up their ways and just decided not to come back down. Now I see the truth, I got it down. A different motive in your ass, and now I'm out. See you later. Elam was up to just about 200 miles per hour. Has to keep it on the water, though. He's running fast and loose as he bounces it just a little bit. There, he's too high. Dave Vilwak is going over. Miss Elam Plus has crashed on the backstretch. A spectacular flip, Jim Hendrick, as he got high into the air. We have good news already. He has opened the hatch. It looks like Dave might be okay. There is damage to the boat. It was a spectacular flip. Spectacular double flip. The hunter looked from the inside. <laughs> I've never done that before, but I guess I was guilty of trying to get the boat too tight to the water, and I hit a wave, and then when I bounced up, I couldn't get it back. You know, it was blowing just at the wrong time going into the wind. So it's one of those things that's racing, but the guys will get her back together. Hope we can make a restart. I see your fantasy. You want to make it a reality, baby. So once she breaks loose, there virtually is nothing to hold her to the water. Watch, here it goes. Oh, my. Very high, but the Very watch. High. Note that the nose broke in half off of it as it impacted. The driver is virtually exposed. The rest, the rest of the race boat, the front of the race boat is gone. Kind of a speed, so they obviously were loosening it up. Now we're getting a, a three-quarter to the front view, and you see the boat is very loose, and up she goes. Oh, my. Now watch when she comes down. She's going to hit the transom first, then break in half right there. There goes the front of the boat right off to the left of the uh, screen there. And you'll note the driver's head. Notice the driver's head right above the word e, the letter E and the E lamb and below the scoop. Gaining on Vilwalk, he has the inside, and that will be an advantage in this turn. Look out, look, he's loose. Oh, no! A terrible crash. The Pico got very, very loose just as they approached the apex of the turn, got into the Budweiser rooster tail, and where is Hanauer? Is the boat floating upside down? right side up as we saw it before we went into these replays here's another look at it a more spectacular flip you will not see and steve you've seen a lot of them and several of them right here at this spot on this race course something about the way the wind comes down the river decisions too high ah! back off i'll take you on stephen david jimmy king pretty close together and budweiser now coming into the picture Elam has gone on top of the Budweiser. We saw part of the Budweiser come, and they're drifting toward boats there. Heading right for the log boom, uh, piggyback style. Boy, it looks like they've got it stopped. And Jimmy King in the Elam Plus veering appears a little bit out. Well, what happened there is he hit some rough water, lost the skid fin grip. The boat got airborne and just parked itself right on top of the Miss Budweiser. You couldn't have done that if you'd have tried to. Absolutely incredible. Jimmy King has no control, obviously. Weber's got to try to steer it away from those pleasure boats that they are heading toward here in slow motion on our replay. Neck and neck going to the Bell Isle turn. They're in the turn now, side by side. A little bounciness there. Oh, Budweiser crash. Budweiser crash. Budweiser over. Budweiser's over. Budweiser oh crash. Goodness. A wind caught him down there in the Bell Isle turn. The boat's right side up. It's still right side up. The two boats are actually really too close together now. They're inches apart. The sponsor on the Budweiser uh, raises up in the air and crosses over the canopy of the Smoking Joes. The boat's now completely airborne across the top of the cowling, upside down. Of course, a lot of spray, a lot of water, flying backwards, wing were getting ripped off. Quite a crash. We have trouble in the turn. Something has gone wrong in the turn behind the leader. We see boats slowing down now. Something happened up there in the rooster tails that we could not see. They're going to red flag this course. Steve David has damaged Jim Hendrick on his boat. Something has taken the wings off of Steve David's boat. There are other problems back behind him, though, and we have to try to get this sorted out. This is way down in turn one. Now we're up into turn two. 
This is here comes Kelly's boat. Oh my gosh! J. Michael Kelly's U13 got into the air and went right over Steve David's boat. Apparently, Jim, it missed the cowling, but went through the tail feathers. And here is the boat now floating upside down. The rescue crew is there working with J. Michael Kelly. Number one, the circus circus trying to catch up after a late start. He starts to fly. He's up in the air. Oh no! It's the Hulk set this medicine. They both went over Dick. Unbelievable. It looked like a choreographed ballet as both boats going over. Let's check the drivers out right now. Johnny Prevo's right side up in the water. Ron Snyder is upside down in the water. We remind you that they are on their own breathing mechanisms in these capsules. But you can see right there, Snyder is not out of the boat yet. Prevost is sitting upright in his boat. He has not yet popped the cock, but there he goes. He has popped it out, so one driver is okay. The other driver we have not seen in the development. Let's take a look at back now at what happened. Look at, there goes Circus Circus, the first boat up. Then you can see Madison flying up almost exactly the same way. Unbelievable as they come back down the back end of Circus Circus comes down. It looks like the boat actually split. Let's take a closer look at it. Here he gets airborne. At this point, I don't even think he realizes he's flying. Now, by this time, he's lost the horizon, goes over. Watch that back end as it comes down. It looks like the boat might have split. Here he comes, and he could have gone again, but no, the back end. Look at it right there. Right there, the boat splits in half. He's lucky that the boat is even floating at this point.